The next pattern in the Simplifying Conditional Expressions series is called Remove Control Flag. The motivation here is that you have a variable that's acting as a control flag for a series of Boolean expressions, and you should use a break or return statement instead. So in this example, we have this method that's looping through a series of people here and looking for a specific one. And it has this control flag that it's using to determine whether or not it should continue that loop. Well, for minor performance reasons here, we should at least try to exit this loop because let's say we had this list of a million people that came through and we found this person within the first five or ten of them, then we would have nearly a million tests of a control flag that we don't really need. But even more to the point, we can make the code a little bit more readable than this, and we don't need this variable at all. So here, the first thing we're going to do is just start introducing our break statements one at a time to break out of this loop. This will be an opportune time to rerun all our tests, make sure we didn't break anything in the code. And now we simply remove all references to the control flag itself. close that. And that's pretty much it. We've removed the control flag and simplified the code a little bit. Now as a slight twist on this example, we often see something like this as well, where this control flag is actually doing two things. It's being a control flag, just like we did in the previous example, but it's also a return value. Now it's not returning within this method itself, but it's returning from this loop so that it can be used later. And so well, we, we've noticed that this variable is doing two things, which means that in a way this method is doing two things. So let's extract this and do its own method. One method to find the uh, person that we're looking for and then the parent method continues with the later code. So we'll extract this, call it find miscreant. And now here, we're in the same boat as we were in the previous example, but instead of a break statement, we could exit the loop and exit the method entirely with a return statement. So now we don't really need this control flag anymore. We can, well actually we do have to return a, a default condition here. We don't need this control flag at this point. So we've removed that control flag from the code. And now we could probably simplify this a little bit more. Maybe put it all into one line. Not part of the pattern, just a matter of personal preference. Some people may also prefer the former. It's up to whatever the team wants to do. But that's pretty much it for the remove control flag pattern. Thanks for watching.